such a big, strong crown for such a... What? <laughs> Are those camels eating at our dining table? Another day, another cold, hard jilping, and his journey to the Arco Nexus. Welcome to Rimworld, where today... Well, we're going to go on a journey to the Arco Nexus. I thought that was fairly obvious. And as I have hinted at before, and hinted at because I really don't know myself quite yet, the method of getting to the Arco Nexus is apparently with cold, hard cash. And we've made a fairly good start on the cold, hard cash front with our good friend Zodgul the Orc making tons and tons and tons of cold, hard yayo. But is it really enough? Is this tiny field going to be all that stands between us and our eventual victory? If only there was a way to grow... Far more drugs, far faster. And then it occurred to me, why yes. Yes, there is. <laughs> so I've bulldozed every tree, every plant, and we're in the process of replanting this entire, every fertile surface in the base, essentially, with psychoid. And I think we will commit to this particular run of the Arco Nexus. Better when we have to do multiple runs in the same save to actually get to the Arco Nexus. This first attempt will be with cold hard drugs. And I think that's the easiest way of doing it. And I had a few good suggestions in Discord of other methods we could use to get up to the silver necessary to get another piece of the Arco map. Somebody pointed out we could just plant Igor Invader and harvest many, many organs, but for the amount of cash that you need, which I believe is around 300,000 silver, which is uh, not, you don't need silver, you just need 300,000 colony wealth. To get enough organs to do that, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of people, which is fine, but not really practical, although very, very on brand for Rimwad. When we reform our ideology, genuinely animal ranching might be a very legitimate way to do it. And whenever it is you sell your base for that piece of the Arco map, you do get to take something like, f I think there's five colonists. Again, I've seen a lot of conflicting numbers here and there thrown at me. The point is we get to keep a few colonists. And if we were to train one person a huge amount in crafting, I was thinking that'd be a great way to also get to the end game, right? We could make a ridiculous amount of art and we could money launder. I mean, sell artwork to get to the Arco Nexus. Or alternatively, we could combine the organ idea and we can make a bunch of human leather chairs and sell those. The point is the possibilities are endless, but this first time we're going to go for the drugs because I do think drugs are the easiest way in Remore to make a boatload of money. We've done it before with Legal Lee and God damn it, we'll do it again. Now, the other thing as well is during yesterday, we dropped... 200 yayo on a faction that is part of the Caravan Adventure mod. I forget what they're called now. Uh, the Sacrilege Hunters. And as a result of dropping 10 kilograms of yayo right on top of their settlement, we have got an alliance with them now. And by extent, we've got access to whatever their quest is. Towards the end of yesterday, we had a big old kind of quest dump saying about how this particular faction have settled on this planet much like we have. And we've agreed to quote unquote ally with them. Uh, as part of the story added by that, which I thought was quite a cool feature because I'm not seeing anything like that in Rimod. More to the point, they gave us a free Vanimetric power cell, so I'm more than happy to see it. But we did get another pop-up after that. Apparently, we have successfully completed the quest Caravan Adventures Trade Caravan. Interesting. You had a really nice chat with Neon. Keeping in touch may provide great opportunities. So I suppose that's all we can do for the time being to kind of drive that. We'll keep an eye out, keep an eye on the trade beacon, things like that, or other trade caravans that will turn up. And we'll pursue it wherever we can. But as far as I can tell, for the time being, we're back to regular business. A starvation. You want? Uh, you, uh, you guys want to eat some yayo? That's not a fucking sheep. I don't know much about animal husbandry, but that's not right at all. I suppose the biggest thing we achieved yesterday, right, was cracking open this ancient danger and getting just an insane amount of gear. Don Banana has some crazy riot armor. Constantine, the Pope of Jilp, has his recon armor. And Jilp, in turn, has marine armor and boots. This guy is pretty damn tanky right now. I don't know if you keep the research when you reset the base. Some people have said you have, and some people have said you haven't. And welcome to my daily life. In the background of yesterday's episode, I was kind of keeping an eye on the animal pen, right? Because it's the first time I've properly used them in Rimod. And I noticed that, to be honest, they're a little bit pointless. And as that rhino just found out, animals can climb over the fences, which means the rhino or the mega scarab or the tapir or whatever can get into that, depending on the type of animal. Not all animals can do it. They can just go over the fence and eat whatever food you prepared for your livestock. So to be honest, it would be better just to build a wall around it in the future. And that combat supply reminds me that much like Arcadius himself, our goal for today is to drill deep. If we can only take a certain amount of people with us, that ideally means that all of those people that we do take not only have to be incredibly well skilled, but they also have to be incredibly well equipped. The next colony would be incredible to kick things off with 
incredible weapons, preferably charge weapons, cataphract armor, jump packs, that type of thing. And the game just dropped a doomsday rocket launcher in with my sheep. Thank you. No, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with our biome. I'll be completely honest. We're kind of part desert, part tropical rainforest. I had to take out Yeo's nature midway through yesterday because of a uh, kind of soft conflict with the biomes mod. And now as a result, we count permanently as temperate desert, which is fine. It does mean we have year round growing, which is obviously incredible for the for the drug production. <laughs> I'm just really not sure. I'm really not, just not sure what it means. I guess things like, yeah, I mean, look at the amount of grass on the map, or I should say the lack thereof of grass. I assume if we were to also, say, chop down these trees, they probably wouldn't grow back in a hurry. Another one! Matve, Paralytic Abasia. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm really not interested. And there he is, a little Matve. Look, I don't think we should be enemies just because I didn't want to look after you for two months, Matve. It's a little bit selfish. Although he is our... Ah, oh, he bought his own jumpsuit and his own backpack. Um, I do like the 14 social double passion, but I can't take anybody with no combat. I'm sorry. A sunblocker. Well, I mean, for sure it would cut into our drug production, but we've got enough food that we probably don't have to worry about it. Lucky will join us. Lucky, are you any good? You won't tell me. Well, Lucky, it's a bad day to be you. Oh my god, and then we've also got another person potentially joining us. Holy crap, it's all these high pop storytellers. Vitali, Gatherer. Plants 12, Double Passion. Could be quite good. No shooting, though. Oh, I mean, I can't take that Plasma Cutter. Plant myself some Dead Space. Honestly, you know what? No, I'm alright. Have we... Have we not had the mission yet to find any of our ideology-based items? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Yeah, either the Reckoning of Jop or the Skull of Jop. We haven't had any quests about that quite yet. Maybe we got really, really lucky the first time I played Ideology. Oh, there it is. One multi-analyzer. And to my shock and awe, we can actually build it. Wowee. Oh, Otto. What an incredible day for the colony, my friend. Round penetrating scanner. There we are. Oh, the first colony marriage. Oh, well, I guess Zodgo wasn't interested. <laughs> oh, every part of me was hoping for a second then they were going to hold that in the bathroom. No, instead they're going to hold it just outside of Lanath's bedroom. Or apparently inside of Lanath's bedroom. That's so good. Glad to see everybody dressed up for the occasion. They're celebrating the occasion, what, by all... Fucking off? Oh, this doesn't look like much of a celebration to me. <laughs> they just went back to work. I mean, look, I appreciate it. My god, that was fast. What a turnaround. Well, I mean, to be fair, we also do have six research benches, so... Well, in that case, let's throw down our ground-penetrating scanner and see what we can find. We're quite fortunate in that this part of the map is is pretty secure. Even though it's not a full-on mountain base, I mean... Shit, we're getting all the benefits of it, right? Oh, and there we go. Caravan Adventures rescue a friend. Neon sent a letter requesting help urgently. The letter reads... Dear Jilp. <laughs> I really hope you get this letter in time, or we might all be dead. We came across a large shrine, and as we cracked it open, massive and mechanoids streamed out. We got away, but ever since hordes of mechanoids keep attacking our village, I'm sending this letter in the hopes you can make it here in time to assist us. We're preparing an escape, but we have to wait for reinforcements to stand any chance of escaping with our lives. Please help us in those dark times and venture to, f venture to Fingerun. What a fucking name. At haste. We never forget this great deed. P.S. Yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well. I'll miss talking to you. I had a great time when we met. I hope to see you soon. Aiding us again. Yours sincerely, Neon. Neon, I barely fucking know. You're being very forward here. Well, no one wants to finger on, I guess. Uh, they're pretty close. Yeah, we can get there. Do you want me to, like, do you want me to go now? Uh, they, they sounded like it was pretty urgent, but also she did get a letter to us via the Rimworld Post Service. Really does make you wonder how urgent it could possibly be. And I mean, right now, look, we are on Perry Persistent, which is arguably the second worst storyteller to be doing this on behind Igor. Also, though... I want to see what this is all about. So let's send, I'll send Sweetsy and Poopy and Jilp. That leaves five people at home to try and defend the base in the event of a bad situation. Okay, go on then. Get out of here. Oh my god, hang on, we can ride the monkeys. <laughs> it's not gonna make us any faster, because of course it's down to the uh down to the slowest person there. What if? We just send three people. No, send a lot. Uh, don't, don't bother with the monkeys. They're not going to help. Ah! Oh, entered finger run. What a fucking phrase. Uh, well, here they are. Hello, everybody. I don't know any of you, but... Where are the... The mechanoids? I thought there were mechanoids here. I kind of noticed there's a fucking 
person in a... Hmm. Do you get weird vibes from this faction or is it just me? I feel like this is a setup. Are they pirates? I'm going to get our people behind cover and then we'll send Jop to go and have a chat. Hello. How's it going, Neon? You came, thank God. We barely fended off the last attack and our scout spotted the next and yet biggest army only a few minutes away. I hope our reinforcements make it in time. Good to see you. Any idea why those mechs are after you that bad? We sure get attacked as well, but nothing like you described. Neon, pale and exhausted, looks at you in the eyes. We don't know exactly. It was a huge shrine. Oh, this sounds good. Once we discover the hordes of mechs coming out of that place, we used our last nuke to level the whole place, but it looks like it's they've made it out and now they're after us. She hands you a small device. Take this comms device so I'll be able to contact you. All right. Uh, well, let's see if we can defend this place then. Here they are. Take cover. Neon screamed. My God, what a horde. Yeah, they need to be held off until we're able to get the civilians out of here. Guess today is a good day to die. Yes, Mr. Wharf. Good one. Fucking how many raid points? Ah! <laughs> is that intentional? I sure as hell hope so. Rightio then, squad. Uh, here's the plan. Very straightforward. We're going to stand over here. They're going to get shot and we're going to be fine. Any questions? Okay. Well, fuck that. Are you shitting me? I assume this is some sort of fake out. What is that? What is that noise? Hello? Oh, I don't care about the fucking sheep. It looks as if we were the ones getting finger and all along. Oh, God. <gasps> Our reinforcements here. Let's go, guys. Give them hell. Turns people and council members to the escape routes. This isn't going to end well. Oh, my fucking Lord. Oh, this is just a spectacle. So we're to stand back and watch as this all kicks off, I hope. All right, then. Well, shit. I don't think you guys need our help after all, to be honest. There's no way in fuck they're going to kill all those centipedes. Even with that, there's not a chance in hell. They are they are dead as dicks. Are we supposed to be leaving too? Yeah, she seems to be leaving. This is well and truly obscene. <laughs> this is well and truly insane. You guys good? Yeah, everybody fine back here? Jolt looks fine. He looks really, really pleased with the decision. I mean, I won't lie. It is very cool. This is, this is really, really impressive. But I think I'm going to start leaving if that's okay. I don't care what this quest potentially has. It's not worth the life of Jill. Oh, those centipedes are actually fucking insane, aren't they? This is insane. Is this all biocoded? It's not. They're fleeing. Well, time to start packing. Off we go, squad. What a complete mess. Neon's almost at the map edge. I assume when she leaves, something will happen. Ah. We got out alive. This is horrible. I'll have to meet up with our expert hunters and come up with a plan how to defeat these things. I contact you when we know more. Good luck and thanks. I won't forget that you fought for us. Let's move on. Yeah. Yeah, let's. Let's fucking do exactly that. I'm glad I didn't try and fight it. Because I feel like that probably would not have ended well. <laughs> a mech patrol will come through finger in about nine hours. So we could try and grab some shit. I'm not going to do that at all. Oh, God, Lumpy. If you get us caught, I will abandon you. I'm sorry, Lumpy. I'm not keeping this caravan behind for your benefit. Oh, there's Phoenix armor. Holy crap, there's a samurai helmet too. I should have ram-raided the buildings first and grabbed some shit. Yeah, we need to We need to go. You finally here, Lumpy? Let's get out. Wow, that was a mess. Hey, we've done it. There we go. Fantastic. Successfully complete the quest caravan adventures. Rescue a friend. Well, I don't know that we've really rescued anybody, but yeah, sure. Why not? The next part of the quest simply says creepy whispers echo around the village. They seem to be coming from the direction of the anima tree. Like our village, I assume. Our our base. Oh, hello. You, you good? That's kind of horrifying. Talk to the creepy tree. Listen, human. The ancient creature awoke. We may all perish unless we empower a savior to gather the ancient spells in order to battle the creature when it is ready to strike. What? Me? Yes, you. The Dragonborn. Oh, wait, sorry. Have the potential that is required to wield the power of the ancient scrolls. Start the journey, acquire the spells, and save this planet from doom. Do, ex do you accept the ancient gift? Uh, no. No, I don't actually. All right, go on then. The location of the first spell will reveal itself to you. Good luck on your journey, chosen one. Bye. Retrieved an ancient gift. Job has been granted the ancient gift. 
Jump also started to remember that two spells he never knew before. You can find more info in Jump's info tab. Oh! Mystical Guiding Light? What on earth? And what else have we got there? Mystic Guiding Light, Solar Pinhole, and Chunk Skip. Oh, sweet. Well, that's uh, something. We successfully completed the quest, Caravan Adventure Whispers. Yes, we have. Fucking poor Jilt, man. He just wants to retire. And he keeps being brought back over and over for our sick amusement. And now he was the chosen one all along. Which I guess is quite fitting, all things considered. Great news, everybody. Jilt just finished applying the Jump Pack Tech Print. The side problem is, um... That. Oh. Well, that's nowhere near as bad as I thought, to be completely honest with you. 1,262. That's really not that bad at all. They do have an auto morsis, so I'm not going to fuck around with this one. We're going to get in and kill it immediately, I hope. Oh, we've got a little dryads too. Hello, dryads. The plan is very straightforward. Crypto Jilp is going to poke his head around the corner. And we're going to shoot at whatever the hell decides to shoot at us. Kill it. Oh, was well, a bad day to be that Lancer, I suppose. Oh, shit. Get out of there. Get him. Fuck him up, dryads. Well, now we get to see how good these things are, I suppose. Uh, let's bring him up here. Oh, Clora Dryad 2 is dead already. Oh, I'm so sorry. I guess they're not really intended as creatures for fighting mechanoids, though, huh? Okay, we should be fine now. I think we would have been fine either way, but... And that is one mechanoid cluster. Wow. Part of me really wants to turn up the difficulty, but also part of me knows the second I do that, we're going to get Igor Invader, and then the game's going to be over in two seconds flat. So, um, I'm all right. <laughs> for the next cycle, though, probably. I, I I think that'll be fine doing it with for the next cycle because I'll be down with all the ideology mechanics at that point, eh? Oh, baby monkey. I'm not sure that's what a baby gorilla actually looks like, but you know what? I'll allow it. I love you, micro gorilla. Which one of you people do I trade with? You? You? Who am I trading with? You? There we are. You kids want some drugs? Oh, what the hell is a gow? A spined gal. Oh, I remember those things. Here you are. That's for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll take the steel, for sure. Oh, they want to buy all our old crap. Well, that's good. They've got mechanoid components for sale. Well, that's very bizarre. Okay, we'll take those. We'll take the advance. We'll take the regular. Sure, why not? I mean, look, it's lowering our colony wealth, but... Well, that's a good point. Do we need it? Not really. We're supposed to be trying to build up as much wealth as possible, eh? Let's just sell them what they can actually afford. There we go. Ah! Could that be it? No way. Oh. Following the tragic mechanism of the second one of our settlements, we, sacrilege hunters, hereby place a bounty on the Neorelg mech hive. For every person who kill, your faction will earn bounty credits, which can be traded in for military support, rare items, help with smoothing over relationships, and for very ambitious participants, you may get the ability to enlist our top veterans permanently. Simply contact us with the comms console. Good luck. Oh, that's cool. Generally thought for a second that would have been the, uh, the Arco Nexus. Now, why don't we take a look at our colony wealth? Uh, 125k. I think it's either 250 or 300,000. So we're about halfway there. And bear in mind, you sell things for lower than their market value unless you have a very, very, very skilled orator, which Jilp is good, but he's not that good. So every trade, even though we're getting silver, we are losing wealth overall, if that makes sense. Although, granted, if we're <laughs> if we really are set on planting this entire field, one harvest will genuinely probably do it. What we need is more power and more neural superchargers. Oh my god, okay. Hang on. Explore possible master shrines to reveal their secrets to determine the mechanoid armada threat. Take your time to prepare. This may be a long journey and the enemy won't be easily defeated. There it is. It is a long journey. You're not wrong. Fucking hell. Where is that? That's a, couldn't be any further away. Quite literally on the other side of the planet. I guess that is very much intentional, though. It, it is legitimately right on the other side of the planet to us. Oh, interesting. So that could be the Master Shrine. How long would that take to caravan over? Days and days and days, surely. A week. Do we to get there, we to get back. We lose Jilp for an entire season or whoever it is we happen to spend. Now, one of those, uh, one of those powers, Mystic Guiding Light, increases Traveler's Speed. Can't be cast on the road and has a lengthy preparation time. Lasts three days. Ah, okay. So you could set up a camp, cast that, head back out. That must be what the tree gave us. Okay, very nice. It might even be sensible to set up a colony on the other side of the planet at some stage. Another Wanderer too. Starlight. Oh, God. Um. 
sure. We could just take her and execute her if she's terrible. And we can at least get a mood boost out of that. Starlight the Gatherer. Good shooting stat. That's what I like to see. Neurotic is very good when you combine it with the plant skill. She could be the drugs character we were after. You know what, Starlight? Fine. I'll let you stay. Although you are the wrong ideology, so you're probably going to go to prison either way, pal. Caravan animals wander in. Uh, so that's a Labrador. So that's a Labrador with six high explosive shells strapped to it. <laughs> the mechanoids are getting creative. Well, I was going to say we'll kill it and take its stuff, but I suppose we'll try and tame it instead. You know, Jilp, I'm really not sure that today I want to try the sewage fish. I don't care even if it is a local delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got some battle animals. Oh my god. Oh, good lord. A group of polar bears have wandered into the colony. Uh, you fuckers are aware this is a desert, correct? <sighs> All right. Power armor animals it is. <laughs> I was going to go for fabrication next anyway, so to be honest, that's fine. I'd really love to sell some of these gorilla. Hello? What about drone queen? Oh, oh, hello. Well, I guess we'll just ignore them for the most part. Polar Bear 2 is immediately pregnant. Look, I'm all for animal ranching and selling those animals on. This is what I'm fucking talking about. Get out of my farm. I'm not sure I can feed these many animals was about to be what I was going to say next until I know, some elephants eating the food that we quite frankly can't spare. Piss off, Dumbo. Oh, don't shoot the sheep. Oh my god. I think the circus is cancelled this year. <laughs> oh, they're going to eat the drugs. 60%. Wow. Ah. Uh, I mean, a good conversion ritual might do it. I mean, if this fails, we'll just chuck her in prison. It'll be fine. Oh. Ability on cooldown will be available in three days. Oh. Does this share a cooldown with... Oh, she has a cooldown with regular conversion. Otto, you are truly becoming... A colony legend. Look at this man with his fabrication. Oh, and we also got a board goods hunter from the Sacrileg Hunters. Hello. Apparently, in their spare time, they've been beekeeping. What the fuck is this look? Power armor and... <laughs> oh, that's so good. Wait, you can wear hazmat hoods over marine helmets. Oh, shit. Toxic sensitivity and psychic sensitivity down 25%. Lower global work speed, but Christ... I kind of noticed they bought Yeo with them. They accidentally get the whole colony addicted. Oh, wow. Is that my fault? Oh, no. Is that my fault? I just can't believe somebody would have provided the AI with all of those drugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is superb. I just can't take my eyes off of it. Well, let's sell some of these devil sheep rams. We only need one of those, ideally. You guys want to buy a gorilla? Asking for a friend. Oh, you fools. We just fought 50 centipedes and my fault ran away from. But we fought 50 centipedes. Oh, well, I mean, that's quite a few. I also built a really rudimentary kill box with a slight maze at the entrance. I thought I'd fill it with bodies because how people don't care about bodies. But generally, other people care about bodies. It's certainly not long enough to make anybody upset or anything like that. But it might just be the, the, the straw that breaks the camel's back. This should be a piece of cake now, I'm hoping. See, we've got the range for it. It's just they don't hang around long enough to kill. This is fine. Sure, if we have to stand here for a few hours and pick them off piece by piece, that's all right with me. It'll just take a, a day or two or three. <laughs> we need weapons with either concentrated fire or a much bigger individual punch. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it works fine. They are just going to be going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, though. I think our people are more likely to break down before we finish... Especially larger raids, it, it, it will be a bit of a problem. And hopefully... Ah, oh, there we go. We're done. I just wish... I just wish there was a way to get rid of Swamp. If only there was some sort of pump for moisture in the ground to firm it up. But I can imagine that if there was something like that in the game, it would be more or less functionally useless. Anyway, is this fucking bee gonna leave? Get out. Oh, the exoskeleton frames. To be honest, at this point, I do think the range belts are better. There's no problem with the amount of work that we've got to do in the colony, given that we've got people who are literally idle right now. So let's go ahead and say make component and do until we've got 
I was going to say 15, but yeah, sure, 38 is fine. All of this ammo, by the way, is if you want to enable it with Yeo's combat, which I absolutely do not. Thank you for asking. Ah, recon armor and murderous animals, you say? Chancellor, murderous animals are my specialty. 19 man-hunting giganticonda. <laughs> ah, oh, well, shit, look. I have to take the tech prints. The skin glands would not only fulfill our baseline ideology with a pretty decent upgrade, but think of the, I mean, the specialized items the, for the farming hands when we've got this going on would be very, very high tier. Then the circadian influence ties in really nicely to the sleep accelerator. That would be just uh, an incredible combo, all three of them. Sold. God, I hope I can beat these. They've sent us Aodata, a uh, deserter for the Empire. Is this like, uh, have they sentenced her to death or something? What the fuck is this you've sent me? How long until they turn up? Four hours. Wait, four champions be placed under my control? What does it look like four fucking champions to me? It's the bear traps from vanilla expanded security that reset automatically, correct? Now might not be a terrible time to throw a few of those. And how much steel have we got? Oh, not enough to make that work. Yeah, that's the downside to them. You can only build them out of metallic things rather than the traps which you can build out of any stuffable, essentially. Sky steel bear traps? Seems a bit of a waste, but we're probably not going to use the sky steel for much else. 3,108. That's our strongest raid yet. Wow. <laughs> oh no. What have I signed up for? Well, here it goes, I suppose. I put a data up front there so that she can, uh... Oh my fucking god, are you kidding? That couldn't have been much more unfortunate if we'd have tried for that to happen. Uh, here's the plan then. Run like fuck. Run like fuck. Uh, combat command. And then run like fuck. Oh my god, the dryads might just save our life here. They might just give us a chance to get away from the- Jilp, 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 jilp. The gigantic condors are not what I'm concerned about. The thrombo's running. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Don't shoot the dryad, he's our friend. Okay, watch out for the big snake. Watch out for the big snake. Keep running and gunning. Dr. Lumpy might be on the chopping block here. I'm sorry to say it. Fuck. Lumpy, lumpy, lumpy. Is the lack of leg finally going to catch up with her? I mean, it is Ice Wolf's fault, I would like to reiterate. Save her. Save her. There's only one left. My god, we've done it. You good, Lumpy? Lumpy's actually fine. She's actually fine. Well, I mean, as fine as she could be. It is Dr. Lumpy after all. <laughs> oh, that poor fucking thrombo. Wow. I feel terrible. Bleeding out in 15 hours. Go free, little thrombo. Oh, no. I mean, we could just go and finish it off, I guess. How's the other dryad doing? Should be all right. There you go. There you go. Absolutely fine. The Labrador. Oh, it died of malnutrition. Oh. <laughs> that was the Labrador with the shells trapped to it. Uh, that was a bit like Luster. I thought a snake had got to it. Oh, that did count as quest complete. We didn't get a notification or anything. At least not one that I noticed. There we go. Skin hardening, specialized limbs, and... Circadian influence. I believe those are all single tech print researchers as well, aren't they? We've got a psychic soothe from that too, and just an obscene amount of meat. And then finally, goodbye, little thrombo. Caught in the crossfire. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for this to happen. Although I won't complain about the tons of lavish meals you provided there. All right, well, look, let's move this wind turbine, because this is... This is not sustainable the way we've got things set up right now. Specialized limbs, circadian influence, and skin hardening. That really does make my skin harden. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry. I don't play Smash Bros. anymore. <laughs> so we got Shred Mechanoids or Shred Mechanoids, and I'm not really sure which one. Oh, Shred Mecha Droid. Ah, oh, they are very different. I can't believe I've fallen this far. Strip mining. I'm sorry, I had to do it. And I know that we're opening the floodgates to insect, but we didn't even have enough steel to get a deep drill, even if we have scanned for steel. But tell me it's not all worth it. Look at this. It's happening. Oh my god, it's happening. Oh, another exotic goods trader. I wonder if they're interested in Yeo. Hunter Rebecca is the wife of colonist Jilp. I didn't approve of this. Non canon law. Where is she? Rebecca Ninja? Okay, well, I'm starting to approve of it. <laughs> Great memory trigger happy perfectionist. 12 medical. Wow. Uh, 
That's Job's wife. Okay. Rebecca Ninja. That is honestly pretty fucking high tier. She does like Jilp. Maybe Jilp doesn't even know she's alive. I, did I not say that this faction crashed on the planet? <gasps> they want to buy our gorillas. Sold. I, I might sell all the gorillas. I'm sorry to say it, but they are... They are seriously a pain in the ass. You don't get any bonus for them being pregnant. That's like a bonus gorilla. Bionic leg for Lumpy. Lumpy, it's your lucky day, my friend. And I suppose with the change, I'll take some plasteel. Just remember, every time we trade, we are losing colony wealth because of how RimWorld works. But it is, and I never thought I'd say this, a great day to be Dr. Lumpy. Poopy, don't screw this up. She can't handle it. Poor Dr. Lumpy has been through enough. Look at her now. Let's hit Starlight with that conversion ritual. See if we can... Okay, 46% still isn't great, but I suppose it'll do. And then... 9.3. Imprisoner. Imprisoner. And trust me, Starlight, when you see the insects that you could potentially be up against, I think you'll want to get out of there pretty damn fast, my friend. I mean, right now we've got a grid excess of 6,400 watts. I'm going to throw down a few more superchargers. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. <laughs> Go on, then. Be free. And once again, on this auspicious occasion, we are all Jill. So we've got a couple of extra superchargers going down there. The drugs trade is going... Honestly, fantastically. And assuming it is 250,000, we are on to the last 100k. We're sub 100k now until the first Arco Nexus might reveal itself to us. I think today has been, once again, a resounding success. We got to see our little caravanners. We've made a boatload of cash and we've actually kind of sorted the base out a little bit here. But the moods, the moods have been incredible. The moods have never been higher. With the exception of Starlight, who's being a bit of a fuck. Just sad because you're a, an outsider who was in prison. Okay, so it's all stuff that will wear off, and then she will join us in the land of Jilp. Pure, unstoppable, elated, painful bliss. What a time to be alive. Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow we will continue the adventures of Jilp. And I am quite curious what that caravanning might entail. Whether or not we want to commit to the full seven days to head out there, or maybe we want to try and coincide it for when we move the base, when we trade it for the first part of the Arco Nexus. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see quite how things develop. Obviously, this is all new to me, so it's going to be a little while before before I, you know, get any funny ideas with it. Thank you to Mr. Moma, Scaps, Aromatic Fool, Juseda, El Scorchio 82, El Zilcho, Dunker, Brambio, Bellman, Jobo Daddy, Hudzu Wadzu, Gordy Number 1, Zetlock, Namo, and Blank for their support the executive producer tiers over at Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible. Thank you all once again for bearing with me as well while I've been away over the past couple of days. As you're watching this, I should be home, I think. Uh, I might just be on the train back now. I'm not entirely sure. But regardless, we'll get back to regular schedule and content and maybe some other second channel stuff because I should have a little bit more free time depending on what happens with that. So let's see how it goes. Thank you as well to Marcel, Roman Candles, Typhon198, Trenchgun, Smirtworm, Crobe, Kippos, Ben, Ice Cream, The Other, 18 Covids, Lucius Martius, Proximity Jones, Pockies, Captain Cuba, Duke, Shatner's Bassoon, Rommel DK, and Thora. 